Hi, I'm Lindsay Foster with TTP TV, and we're here talking with Paul Kayard about his most recent introduction into the America's Cup with Team Artemis and Terry Hutchinson. So tell us what you have going on for that. Well, we're working uh, with Torbjorn Tornquist, who's the chairman of Artemis Racing, and um, he's a passionate sailor. He's had a lot of success in the TP52 and the RC44 class. A dream for him is to compete in the America's Cup, and so he's asked us to put together a team to do just that, and we entered uh, on November 1st, and we have a great team of people already working on it. Okay, and who's going to be doing the helming, and who's going to be the CEO? And who's on what? Yeah, who's on what? Terry's the helmsman. I'm the CEO, Juan Koyum Jan is the lead designer, we have Tom Schnackenberg involved, Steve Calder from the US as a sail designer. We're actually here in Miami for the RC44 event, but Terry's over sailing with a bunch of other guys on a Extreme 40 over in Biscayne Bay and we've been running, this is our second camp this year already running the Extreme 40s because we're trying to really make that transition into catamarans. You've done five cup campaigns uh, and you haven't won one yet. How do you feel about the shift to multi hulls after you spent a lifetime racing and practicing in mono hulls? Well, you know, my, my job is that more of being the organizer and the manager and the leader now and it's still a big goal of mine to win the America's Cup and, you know, any role you play on the team is important and I probably won't sail on the boat. My job is to try to build a good team and then be the minister of the chemistry. The catamaran is, is extremely interesting, you know, coming out of monohulls for 30 years, it's just all new and the wing instead of a sail and, you know, it's, I'm finding the design meetings extremely interesting. With regard to the Volvo Ocean Race, I think I, you know, physically I could do it one or two more times. I'm in pretty good shape and uh, it is a very demanding race physically. So I don't have 20 more years of Volvo Ocean races in me, but I probably have 20 more years of America's Cup management in me. So I'm really looking forward to this America's Cup. Which classes of all the different boats you've ever raced over your lifetime would you say is your favorite? In a traditional sense, in the history of sailing, the star class is a 100-year-old class, and there's a lot of important history in that class. So being a star class world champion is certainly something I'm very proud of. But I remember the first Volvo Ocean Race, I, the Volvo 70 uh, Ocean Race on Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, the boat was, it was incredible to be out in the middle of the ocean sailing a boat that sailed like a dinghy, essentially. And I mean, it was planing all the time, and we really enjoyed the sailing on that as well. So I, I think one thing I've really enjoyed in my career is just sampling the spectrum of sailing from the Olympics to the America's Cup to around the world. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today, and we wish you and Terry and Team Artemis the best of luck uh, with your future upcoming campaign, and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. For TTP TV, I'm Lindsay Foster. Thank you for watching.